senior fellow at the Peterson Institute, Nicholas Lardy, joins us from Washington, D.C. Good time in the program. Uh, Nicholas, first off, uh, any concerns there that we might have a slowdown in the Chinese export machine? Well, you know, global growth is uh, slow, particularly in Europe. China's uh, biggest export market, so it's not surprising that uh, China is facing a significant headwind uh, from the external side. And it could get worse as we move through to the second and third quarters of the year. Well, if it's going to get worse, what does that mean for China's economy, which seems so heavily dependent on exports? Well, we know that, uh, for example, in 2009, when the global economy slumped, uh, that knocked about four percentage points off China's GDP growth. They were able to offset that with a massive stimulus program to some extent, but their growth slumped. Uh, this time, I think they're more constrained on what they can do on the stimulus side, uh, mm -hmm. so their, their growth rate could come down. Okay, are you concerned about the Chinese economy then? If, uh, if you're saying that they're kind of constrained on the stimulus side, you have really high inflation, well, 4.5% uh, still. Uh, what does that mean for the future of China's economy, especially when there's you know, debates about hard, soft landings in the country? Well, I think there's the external headwind we already mentioned. There's the internal growth is slowing down, investment is slowing down, particularly uh, in the property sector, and that's likely to uh, uh, accelerate uh, as, we, as we move through uh, the first half of the year. So the prospect is for a, a, a fairly significant slowdown. I don't think it's going to be a hard landing because I think it will take quite a long time uh, to play out. Uh, but they're more constrained on policy choice policy reactions to these uh, two headwinds than they were, for example, in the similar position in the latter part of 2008. Uh, and Nicholas, how significant is it that we're going to have a change in power in China in 2012? Xi Jinping, the incoming president, current vice president, he's on his way to the U.S. Uh, next week. A bit of a, some would say, a debutante party coming out for him. Uh, what do you think he'll, he'll discuss with the U.S. politicians in terms of trade? Well, I don't think they're going to get down in the weeds on specific trade issues. This is a very high-level visit. He will be the next president and, more importantly, the, the head of the party in China. And I think this is really an opportunity for the, the top leadership in the United States to get to know him better, try to build up some trust, understand uh, the way he thinks about uh, global and domestic issues. So I think this trip really is an investment in the future of the relationship rather than a trip that's going to produce a lot of so-called deliverables. Okay, and what about uh, the future of the relationship? But wasn't it interesting that we had these trade issues in China being targeted in the, uh, in the State of the Union address by the U.S. President? Well, I think the, 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 the likelihood is that things will get worse before they get better as we move through the campaign, but, of course, that remains to be seen. I think a, a lot of people in the U.S. have overlooked the fact that China's external surplus has fallen by more than two-thirds from its peak in 2007, and a lot of people are still finger-pointing at China, talking about their undervalued exchange rate, uh, loss of U.S. jobs, and so forth. But we, we got the preliminary estimate uh, today that their current account surplus last year was only 3 percent. That's down from 10.1. So this kind of external rebalancing, which the United States has been asking for uh, for years, is actually okay. coming on very, very strong, and I think should be very welcome in the United States. All right, uh, Nicholas, uh, good uh, talking to you this morning. Nick Lardy of the Peterson Institute talking about uh, the latest China trade figures in this uh, ongoing U.S.-China relationship.